Najua watu wengi kile mwana sinyo tukiongea Manaki wanataka kumsikia mm. Wanataka kumsikia mami Francis jamani Nasha mm. jajia kwenye mjengo tari Haa lazima tutengeze pesa buwana mm. Manaka tutengeze wana mtawa tukusikia mami Francis Hapa mwja kuhuza fitufi yake <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls In the house In, in the building Ni tiktoka ni content creator uh-huh. Ni makeup artist Na pia vile vile mpepe ni mwana bia shara Ni utanzajua nituwa mjaris Mja Mja siyamali Iyo sasa uh. Karimu sana mami Francis kwenye studio Afuri ni kuna isemu wanambia mbona umeconcentrate sana hapo kwamba ni mke wa mtu kanambia kwani pia ni kazi i know right i'm like is that a career mbona kwani anaweza pia ni kazi mama francis mambo vipi poa sana karibu nashukuru nimeingia ndani ya mjengo i am so glad to see you and i'm so happy to see you right i think kwa sababu tuna tuna vibrate on the same level i'm telling you tuko hapa afa napendeza pia unakaa vizuri bwana baba zimemwacha wapi jamani mungu anaumba ndugu yangu baba zimemwacha wapi Mbaba yuko nyumbani unajua sikipochi na wataftia na wewe kweli ama ate mwanza kujua kama yuko haraka unda Sina si hata atakujua yuko wapi ako yeye ni wewe around ndo tujia ndo tujia shilia ama tujishikie alafu ndo mjini mjini mnamkaribishaje mami Francis ama Mombasa Mombasa kuko shwari siji huko kwenu Nairobi umekusikiaje wewe mwenyewe the pressure is getting worse wacha bwana Nairobi yani watu wanalala na lipstick wanaamka na mako Mm. Asubuhi saa 12 unakutana na mtu amechora makeup full makeup dadangu unarauka uh. saa ngapi ukapaka makeup <laughs> Mombasa yale mambo yako hivyo Dera matu yetu tunafanya biashara na zinaingiliana mamilioni ya pesa ndugu yangu Kwa hivyo mdogo mdogo ah. Kwa hivyo unasikia pressure kukaa mjijini Nairobi Wewe mwenyewe umenionaje toka nije Wiki baada wiki nguo baada nguo yani hivi hapa karibu kuisha Mbaba ameniambia come down come down le wife come down you is coming very fast Ona pesa ya mjengo unaimaliza hilo Wewe pesa ya mjengo unakula Nairobi <laughs> bilazma twende na trend. Oda. Uh-huh. Nimeambua nitachambwa. Fanya hivi kuja kwenye Facebook Live. She uh-huh. is here. Wewe ni TikTok ambao umekubalika sana. Ndiyo. Eh na watu uh, you know mna mafans kibao 1.4 million yes. and uh, kwenye mitandao mingine vile vile pia pale kwenye YouTube. Yes. Eh hiyo maarufu imeanza lini? Umaarifu mm. ulikuja tu. Mimi nianza TikTok 2021. Uh, Wacha. Not in 2020 when everybody was there. No, mm. actually mm. nilianza TikTok 2021. Kufungua mm. TikTok yenyewe ili, ilikuwa 2020 lakini I was not that mm. too much inside mm. it. Mm. So nikaanza sasa kuwa ile so much ku post after ku post 2021. Mm. Na niliingia na biashara yangu ya mkorogo. Mkwapigo. My first ever business. Mm. Ilikuwa nimeingia tu kuuza mafuta yangu, mm. watu wajipaue, mm. ero safi yani mm. tuelewe. Asa, after, uh-huh. After hapo femi kanivada. Mm. Sasa mimi mi, mipasho ilianza lini? Unasikia mjini nyota. Halo, yako imekubali? Yangu imekubali. E, nyota yako inaji kukustiwa wewe. Sina nyota ya paka mweusi kupendwa na mchawi <laughs> mwenzangu. Nina nyota ya pesa <laughs> na pendwa na ulimwengu. Hivi <laughs> tutuniulize <laughs> kabla ungepa vile kwenye kwenye mtandao. Ushuli uko unafanya shuli gani before? Kabla niingia kwenye mtandao. Mm. Yeah. Nilikuwa mke nyumbani na pia mila, m, kwa mtandao nilikuwa nikinengua kiuno. Kwa wale mm. ambao walikuwa na mimi pale Facebook wananielewa wananijua. Hapo nyumba umeta eh pale. Nilikuwa nimetaradadi mami France hivyo hivyo. Bado video zipo kwenye Facebook. Bado video zangu zipo maana mimi sasa tunangulia hapa live. Ah mimi ni mwanamke ambaye sita sita feature naifanya. Eh mpaka leo yupige ah. Mpaka leo unapiga maana mimi kama uko ready. Fasa soli yangu nilikuwa twaka. Hello. Twaka. I used to twerk kwa red shows. Oh, kwa road shows club uh-huh. nilikuwa paka dancer wa susumila ulikuwa dancer wa susumila ulikuwa twaka twaka why ila mbona mnaona hapa ni mchezo wacha nikiwa kazini pesa inaingia ni mambo mengine <laughs> mm. <laughs> umeacha kutwaka kwani namtwakia mbaba peke yake okay eh, kwa nini uliamua kuachia umo usiburudike tena lakini very soon unajua mm. mama wanalia mami kiuno changu kigumu mami nini na nini narudi na tafuta gym ambayo ita partner with me mm. alafu sasa nawafundisha wanawake jinsi ya kunengua kiuno Mba, mm. mbaba mwenyewe anasemaje akiwa na labda kwa wakati unanengua video zako zile au wivu Mm. Bora heshima yako mwanamke. Mm. Aone labda huyu kuna ata slide kwenye DMs. Bora heshima yako. Mm. Ujijue ujitambue na yani we mwenyewe na ujasiri wako unajua umeolewa. Mm. Heshima mbaba wako jimpatie na wewe pia heshima yako. Watu wana slide lakini kwenye DMs. Eh? Watu wana slide lakini. Wana slide ukislide mimi na kuposti hapo shori yako uonekane ah, na ujumbe. Unamwanika. Unamwanika. Ro safi. 
Kuna Monica? Eh, Rosa afi ndugu yangu. Hakuna ah. kuna wale ambao wa, wa, wa baba labda wenye hela zao wanakujaga na labda si diema. Uh-huh. Wale labda wanatafuta paka namba. Mimi uh-huh. kuna wale ambao labda wanakuja paka yani Hakuna uh-huh. ambao pia wanapitia tu ile nje anataka mkorogo. Mhm. Uh-huh. 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 Wale wanaozungumzia si wale mkorogo. Uh-huh. Wale wale wenye pesa Clemo. Mimi nasemaje? Si ndio tena nataka kuwa wewe sasa sitakupata kupitia mkorogo wako. Nitakupata kupitia. Ah Richard. Ah Richard shufepe. Mwende mimi nitakwambiaje? pesa mwanamke ni tamu of course tafuta pesa utaona hii pesa ambayo unapatia uko nje na wababa si kitu mm. unasema wao kuja kuja ni sawa lakini muende ukiwa na pesa yako umeridhika mm. unajua kwa day mimi nitapiga piga mishemishe yangu hivi nitaingiza 1200 huyo mm. mbaba anakuja ananipatia nini na tayari niko na mume mm. hamna hamna mume nikimwomba 1500 atanipatia mm. muende unataka nini kama si ulafi Hello. Mm. Angalia, anaweza mama Francis ndio mkoko unaalika mau. Mm. <laughs> Na kuambia mke pia amemwingiza kwenye mtandao pia. Nilimwona YouTube. Ndio mm. nilimwona YouTube. Ndio nilimwambia you... nilimwambia baba hii hii mali lazima tuita free sote. Eh. Epi epi akafungua account yake sasa. Hapo alimfungulia. Nile kamfungulia. Sasa hii namjaribu pale ambapo anapoweza sawa kama aweze naambia okay tunakuja tunakuja pole pole. Unamfungua mama Francis. Lakini jamaa mimi kiona pole taratibu ndio hulka zake hizo sasa mbona umemwaga kwa mtandao si yaweka kwa mtandao ni maisha tuko na mami Francis ndani ya mjengo tiktoka yule mm. kitu gani kilikusababishia wewe kuuza mkorogo Hai sasa mimi kuza mkorogo mwanzo mm. nilianza kimtani mm-hmm. maana nilikuwa nafanya kazi kongoya mm-hmm. si mnajua kongoya soko kubwa hey, kongoya hey, hey. nilikuwa nauza hizi zinaitwa je nilikuwa na vibanda vya nguo mm. eh nilikuwa na vibanda vya nguo sasa huko unajua jua likikupiga kidogo mm. unaanza kutan mm. alafu si unajua una, tunapenda urembo mm. so mara kwanza yangu kwanza mkorogo ilikuwa kibahati mbaya uh-huh. kivipi ilikuwa kibahati mbaya ile unaenda kwa ushauri wa rafiki oh mm. rafiki yangu eh jamani hapa nimepiga uhusi nisaidie Yeah, yani mm. naweza paka nini mm. ili nikakuwa ikafiti Nika, ikafiti yani rangi yangu ikarudi rangi ya dhurungi ha nikapigwa kopo mwenzangu <laughs> kopo la kishua yani kopo kopo e, rangi iliyokuja nayo ilikuwa gani rangi ikaja e. ikaja wakati wa jiona sura tu mwenzangu yani unajiona sura umetaraja e. jenga e. wewe kusa kujiangalia mwili Ah, nikija nikijiangalia mwili nimekatika na stretch marks. Ah, ni chirizi yani imenikata kuni kata. Mm. Wajua sasa ukijipaka mkorogo huo sisi wanawake si wengi mm. ambao tunakaa kwa kio tunajiangalia mm. tukiwa uchi unaelewa. Mm. So unajiangalia tu sura unaona mwanangu umeremeta ume, mm. eh, shingo ile ambayo ilikuwa imepiga usi imengala. Mm. Eh, so ile siku ukija ukijiangalia hivi mwanangu <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> Ukakuta kwamba ya rangi rangile ah mambo yamebadilika so nikapaniki mm. pale kwa kupaniki sasa ndo mm. sasa karibu mambo yote mm-hmm. so na panic naenda huku na huku ili nitafute mkorogo yani wa kuni safisha wa kuni safisha yani uniregesha venye nilikuwa mm. huku kwenda huku na huku mwanangu kidogo, kidogo kidogo na jiona nakaa ngombe wa grade Mm. pale zebra crossing eh, mm. nimepauka <laughs> changanyiko rangi mweupe hapa hapa mweusi mweupe hapa hapa brown yani hivyo <laughs> kama madoa madoa vile mm. hivyo yani nakwambia nilikuwa nimepani nikipaka nikaja nikampigia baba nikamwambia ngale ndugu yangu huko uliko ukirudi si yule ambao ulimwacha maana alikuwa yes kipindi hicho ako alikuwa ni nchi gani alikuwa yuko Qatar Qatar mm. lakini mko mshaona tayari hapo tulikuwa wazazi washajuana lakini mm. si ile kuona kuona uh-huh. mm. eh, yani ile wazazi walikuwa washajuana hivyo hivyo sasa ndio ile ngambigia ndugu yangu ukirudi mwanzangu si nikatae Hmm. Niko ishuka eh nikubali hali imebadilika ghafla imebadilika ghafla huko <laughs> hali ya hewa sio <laughs> ndogo hapo nilikuwa nataka kuleta uchokozi mbona mm, ndio alikuwa imeingia uchokozi ama ni mimi friends unajua mimi friends wana uchokozi sana mm. so uchokozi ni kule imeingia kidogo ile mikile mpaka nilikuwa natarajia ujue nilikuwa nimeche uwanja eh muonyeshe mambo lakini kidogo mami kama amejistiri leo ni ujue ujue mimi amesema ujue stara muhimu stara muhimu ah bubu baba amemtuma ah lakini ujue ni radio hiyo watu wa kuoni nje ah kama ni wesi waniona lakini mbona huo bado huo bado huo unafanya lakini kwenye tiktok nani nani audience wa kwanza Oh kabla nyi muone wala yeye ana let me ask you does, he, does he need to approve vitu medesi yako mimi ah. mwembe zako lazima labda usho, pia ushai record akwambia ah hiyo siende ah ah hiyo hajawahi kusema mm. lakini mimi mwenyewe pia nampatia heshima yake kama mimi mm. wangu naelewa mm. eh mm. as much as i'm doing this but a uh, improvement has to come from mm. you yeah, unaelewa mm. alinitoa kwa mikono ya babangu sasa yeye ndo babangu wa pili mm. unaelewa mm. so lazima improvement itoke kwake mm. baba huyo mm-hmm. mbaba ile jina mbaba unaanza kumuita lini mbaba ni mbaba 
Kama manaki analea ndugu yangu, mtu akupate tokeo kwa miaka 20 paka sasa hivi kwa 28. Mm. Kasi mbaba mbaba was he your first love? No, he was not my first love. But, really? but uh, the love I have for him is more than that first love. First love. Uh, first love na mbaba. Unika huko. Apotele apote. Alikupa character development kwani? Yo first love. Ile kitu kifupi mwanzangu alikuwa mfupi ka parachute. Na ufupi wake. Aka kupiga character development ya kutosha. Acha bwana, acha bwana. Mtu alikuwa na mtoto alafu anachezea mimi. Wacha. Imagine. Ya man ulivyo mrembo. Ulivyo mrembo. Sasa inasema mbaba is enjoying my ex is regretting. Hey. Yes so. Mimi namuona anakaa mwanachama pia ni. Ushajaji. Naona ni. Unaona sheria pia inaweza pigwa. Nilipatieni tu mambo ya sawa. Unapiga sheria sana mami. Akaikubania sheria mami. We only live once. Maisha ni haya. Kwa hivyo Clemora sema ulivyo mjaji sawa kabisa. La kuchumpa la kupara ma. Unaendaga out sana? Ah, out lazima sheria watu wapige yangu. Haya maneno umeolea umeolea leo wewe basi tutaka kwenda out. Ili aache ni bwana ile raha. Maisha haya sina maisha mengine sasa. Hapo kabisa. Kwa hivyo wewe ni wajina ma whisky. G Aglawa mjaji wewe. Ati na chesa ya nini? Nafikirapo ni na chesa ni? Chesa hata maji. Ah, mbaya huyo. Unya chari. Unya chari. Wewe, haya, turudi pale kwa ile swali. Eh, ulimit mubaba ama mume wako wapi? Mbaba nilimit kwa WhatsApp group. Ah ah. Wewe ni sikuwa watu wa mkikataa DM na pisha pisha mi baba yenu ngo ndani. Ukisalimia hai. Wasa group ya nini sasa? Ilikuwa group ya nini? Ilikuwa WhatsApp group ya matanga. Haikuwa. Haikuwa ya matanga. Hiyo WhatsApp group hadi leo iko inajiita exclusive. Unaona? So ilikuwa WhatsApp group ya watu watu tu tofauti. Ile yani ile nakujua acha nikuwa big group nakujua acha nikuwa big group sasa mm-hmm. iki kierere ambacho mnaniambia mami una kierere kiacha si kiachi leo wala kesho mm. baba alinipendia hicho hicho kierere mm. maana nilikuwa nawasumbua au asubuhi nisharusha picha nishana nishacheka sijui nishafanya nini wait a minute mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni group ambalo ni okay were you like childhood friends ama ni group like ya, like ya yeah, like a childhood friend maana oh. mimi mtu ambaye nilikuwa najua nilikuwa namjua huyo mwenye hiyo group ah. mm. so ndo alikuwa ada yeye ndo alini add watu wengi hapo nilikuwa siwajui mwenye hiyo group kwa naitwa Alfred alisoma Aldina mimi nikisoma mm. Coast Girls mm. sasa ah, wa Coast Girls huyo nakwambia ndo manaje kumbe wako pale barabara ya 2012 hapo uh-huh. the year 2012 ndio kimaliza Coast Girls rende hilo so yeye ndo akani add after kuni add wewe uche si wangu mwanzo baba nilimtumia DM akani blue tick wewe ndo ulikuwa umeanza sasa kuna ile daring madem pia tulifungua ulituma wa kwanza bwana kutuma nilituma wa kwanza thank you nilituma DM wa kwanza na msalimia mnaomba fomu gani nilimwambia hi tulikuwa na dares kama wasichana hebu uh-huh. dm tuone nani atakujibu nikatuma uh-huh. hi nikaliwa blue tick hapo mwanangu nanunua mpaka leo wacha nanunua mpaka leo alafu nikamweka huko kwa archive <laughs> <laughs> How dare you protect me? Nikamwa nikamweka kwa archive. By the time nakuja kum, kum unblock kumtoa archive hivi nimeona tu hapo amegeuka mchinku. Hi, ho, hey, she, ho, hivyo. <laughs> Nakwambia miezi sita huko ndani ya archive. Uh, I learn his lesson. Wacha. Half of the half of the comes come stood out kidogo katika date mara nne mara nne akipanga hutokezei akipanga mara nyingine anakuja paka maliniko alafu naambia sipo hapo nimetoka ulikuwa na nini si ali ali bluetooth mtu ile tu kubletik tu basi ndio mwanzako mpeleke mbio zote hizo unachezea bluetooth kwa bluetooth inauma ndugu yangu aya so kwa sasa hivi What do you do? Kwa sababu we see you on TikTok, yes. tunakuona unauza mkorogo wako. Ndiyo. Sometimes nakuona una waremba, you know, like brides, unawavisha watu. What exactly do you do, Mami Francis? Haya, tukianzia hapo Mami Francis, nani ni Mami Francis? Mami Francis is the soul of a woman. Mm. I am the soul of a woman. Mm. Mimi ni yule mwanamke atoki ukinipatia shepe, uniambie chimba kaburi nitakupatia shilingi 500 nitachimba. Maana mm. najua maisha amenitoa wapi, umeelewa? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So sichagui kazi, sibagui kazi. Mali popote pale ambapo riziki inaingilia, mimi nita give it a try. Mm. Unaelewa mm. mm. nikianza sana sana mimi nilikuwa makeup artist at first but it mm. was not paying makeup artist in uh, Mombasa it's a struggle mm. unaelewa mm. so hapo na struggle 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 uh, nikaona endu eh, yangu 
mbaba kwani alinipeleka nikutane na Nigeria abure so mm. wakati ule mkorogo uliniharibu mm. kumwambia mbaba mbaba akanitafutia solution ah ndio wakati mm. akanitafutia solution kulikuwa na Nigeria anafundisha watu kutengeneza mafuta ah, okay. kutengeneza hizi sabuni nini na nini so nika join classes yake okay. online mm. so ilipo yale mafuta yalipo ni taradadisha mimi nikasema mm. bas ndio hii ndio hii kwa vile yale mafuta unatengeneza eh, mwenyewe natengeneza mwenyewe uh-huh. So ayo mafuta ile mtu akikwambia mami umerembeka nini na nini nampatia namba mm. ukitaka nitafute mm. nampatia namba ukitaka nitafute na ndio hivyo mkorogo ukashika mm. eh. tukiacha na wewe kutangaza biashara biashara yako bidhaa ambazo unauza kama mafuta mm-hmm. au unatengenezaje pesa pia pale kwenye mtandao wa TikTok kwenye mtandao wengi wanataka kujua haya kwenye mtandao wa TikTok uh, la kwanza kabisa mimi sijakwambia mm. uh, ni kuwa biashara yangu ndo kipato changu kikubwa Mm. kwenye mtandao wa TikTok. Mm. Haya madera mabedsheet viatu hivi nilivyovaa ma handbag hiyo mm. ndo kazi yangu ya kwanza pale kwenye mtandao wa TikTok. Mm. Haya cha pili ni kupata hizi endorsements. Mm. Unaona za mm. watu wenye wanataka ku advertise na mimi. E, sasa hao ndo wakija tunaelewana hapo ndani ya inbox nikikwambia 90,000 unakuja tunalalamikiana wao niongezee nipunguzie nipunguzie haya alafu tunaelewana mm. pesa zinaingia unaelewa. Mm. E, ni hapo wako TikTok tukisali hapo hapo. Unapashaga watu sana. Mm. Kwa sko- kuna kuna siku fulani vile kuna sijui mteja alikuwa amekupigia sijui akakwambia nini ha sisi ndio the ones who suffered mm. the people who follow her were the ones who suffered the rata <laughs> hey alikuja karibu alikuja ukateta why do you do that i do that because mm. not most of the inaitwaje not most of the business people mm. say the truth as it is Mm-hmm. Business people they believe we have had a culture whereby people believe lazima ubembeleze client mm. and most of the time these clients hawa tubembelezi sisi maana tuambiwa oh, oh, client oh, is always right yeah. Mimi kwangu hiyo client is not is not always right mtu <laughs> wangu. Ukija uje na heshima zako. Na kupenda sana by the way. Wewe uko na pesa yangu mimi wewe uko na pesa yangu mimi niko na bidhaa yako. So kwa hivyo hapa lazima we have a mutual agreement. Mm. Eh usije ukajifanya. Maana pia bidhaa yangu attack ndio. Sasa why does it have the client is all, does it have to be the always the client is always Naona kubisha na wenga wewe. Ah shoria wao. Kwa hivyo kile macho wao naongea pale ni ukweli kabisa wewe ndo kuko. Nipo ndo kuko. Anaweza chukua kadi katano hivi. Mm. Akupashe wewe. Anapasha client. Mmoja tu na ndo alikosea. Mm. Sisi all of us have to suffer. Inahusu. My sister, Mami Francine. Yes. Kwa siku za hivi karibuni tumekuona kwenye charity ile ambayo mmefanya yes. na Nasra. Nasra. Kwani mmekutana haji na Nasra mpaka mkafanya you know this big project? Ah uh, it is quite a uh, yani akokuwa mm. na mkutano like oh, mm. ya mm. yeah, mimi niliona tu video yake ile ambayo alifanya akiwa wajia ile mm. mara kwanza mm. eh. Nikaona tu hiyo video and I was like mm, I have a million followers. True. I have nothing in my pocket but I I sure I'm rich with mm. followers. So I'm going to turn my followers into something uh, positive. Na twende tukasaidia Ojira and mm. that is how it happened. Mm. So nikatoka Nairobi nikimwambia mbabangu mimi naenda Nairobi. Nikatoka Mombasa mm. nikaenda kumwambia mbabangu mimi naenda Nairobi kumtafuta Nasra. Mm. And pray to God nimpate Nairobi. Nikimkosa Nairobi mimi naenda Ojira kumtafuta Nasra and that was it. Luckily enough before mm. <laughs> the mm. Naj- Nasra akani WhatsApp then we called mm. uh we akani call we talked and uh hivyo tukaelewana nikaja nkamomba ruhusa mm. naweza changisha pesa akaniambia go ahead then nikaja nikaingia live yangu nikachangisha pesa labda tu kumfahamisha msikilizaji ilikuwa ni project yeah. ya aina gani ilikuwa ni project ya kupelekea watu ambao wanakufa na bala njaa uko mm. wajia eh. so kuna kuna places north eastern apart from wajia zimekauka yani mpaka watu hawana cha kukula Mm. Yaani hivi ukiangalia ground inavuka hivi yaani moto yaani ni kama vape hivyo mm. yaani mm. so imagine in that condition nani anaweza lima chochote yakapata mm. hata maji yakuna so they mm. walikuwa wanakufa njana si tukaona tu tuende tu watole kile kidogo ambacho chetu tuko nacho yani that was very noble eh kazi load for that eh kazi nzuri sana so um uh, negativity ya kwenye mtandao kwa sababu sio kitu ambacho especially if you're an internet user tena mwanamke tena video unazo zitengeneza i'm so sure unakutana na lot of negativity sana ni kitu ambacho una kabila na nacho vipi mimi nawapasha 
Roho safi. Unarekodi ama una DM? <laughs> na kupasha hivi via ninakutaga hapo ulichosema na mimi nakwambia kile ambacho mimi pia najisikia kusema na wewe. Eh, eh sio ulijisikia kuniambia kitu. Eh. Na wewe kile changu kisikizi. Lakini sasa ubaya changu ni moto anashindwa kukimeza. Kukimiliki. Eh, sasa inakuwa mami you are bully mami nini but yule alianzisha wa muone lakini mimi nikimaliza. What is the worst? Washaikwambia kwenye mtandao. The worst ambao washaini washainiambia kwenye mtandao ni kuwa mimi ni taa sasa zai. Ah. That's yeah, true. Mm. So uh, wanashindwa wameniambia hivyo. Uh, and uh, kwangu mimi ainigongi vile kwa sababu mimi na yenye mimi na babangu we have mipangilio yetu. Mm. Wewe sasa sije ukajeka kwa mipangilio yetu. Wewe na maisha yako ishi yako. Mami mimi nina miaka 28 na nimezaa nilikutuma uzai mapema. <laughs> ah, ni swali. Uliza tena. Mm. Nilikutuma uzai mapema. Mbona mimi maisha yangu nataka kunipangia? <laughs> Unaelewa? <laughs> Riana mwenye 33 sasa hivi ndo amezaa sasa hivi mnatusumbua. Oh, Unajakumbuka Janice Jackson za 50. Thank you. Anything <laughs> is possible. <laughs> What happened kwa nguo yako ya Rusi? Askew you. Sana, si nikwambia, nikwambia tare. Nguo yako ya harusi. So, Kila kitu kimefanyika mko mm-hmm. kule mjumbani, mlifanya harusi nyumbani kwenu. Ndio, traditional wedding. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Na kuona pale kwenye YouTube umetengeneza video unasema wajawani nguo ya harusi sina mwenzenu. <laughs> na isipofika mimi sifanye harusi. Sasa hicho kipindi changu cha harusi kilikuwa na shambra shambra nyingi sana. Mm. I guess watu wa kwetu walikuwa wamenikalia tu hapa. Mambo asiende sawa lakini Mwenyezi Mungu ni nani? Mwenyezi Mungu akamwambia huyu ni wangu na kila kitu nitamfanyia njia ya kiende. So, mm. nilitoka Mombasa vizuri. Yes. Kutoka Mombasa kufika airport. So, nilikuwa na nguo mbili za harusi. Mm kufika airport ile ile basi ambayo nilikuwa nimetuma nayo mzigo wa kwenda mm. yani unifate maana mimi nilikuwa naondoka kama friday mm. na mzigo mzigo niliutuma tuesday Ah. by friday mzigo haujafika jamani alafu sasa uli, u, unajua shetani alivomuongo ukipiga kule kuna confusion huyu mm-hmm. anakuambia imefika huyu anakuambia bado sijaenda kuangalia yani kulikuwa na confusion ambayo mm. ile so hiyo asubuhi nikaamka nikaenda airport mm. Kwa na airport naulizia nguo yangu iko wapi naambiwa ah nguo yako imeshafika imeshafika so ile nguo ya pili ndo hamna mna napigia mwenye alikuwa amenitumia nguo ananiambia mami nguo iko Mombasa hey! nikapigana kupata ile nguo ya pili iletwe airport hiyo nguo ya pili kaletwa airport lakini sasa the main nguo of the sheree kumbe mm. bado imelala kwa ile nguo tengeneza ni nyingine oh mm. ah ile ilikuwa imeenda mbele yeah. Mm. so imelala kwenye ofisi zao kufika saa tisa mchana ndo nakuja naambiwa angalia eh nguo bado iko Mombasa We. Yaani nilihusi huyo e, nilisikia vibaya sana. Nilisikia vibaya paka huyo, yani Mungu amweke yule mwenye alikuwa amenibeba kutoka Kisumu paka Busia, mm. yule taksiman. Mm. Yaani alinieka tu kwa petrol station akaniambia kumaliza pressure. Maana alikuwa nimemwambia nichukue uniregeshe pale airport na rudi <coughs> Mombasa. Ah. Harusi ifanyiki. Harusi haifanyiki. Nguo imebakia. Haya, hapo sasa nilikuwa na deal na emotions nikajiambia mimi mami wewe siku zote umejulikana wewe ni yule ukisema ninatendeka. Mm. Hivi wazi chukua tu simu ukasema nguo yako imebakia na ikafanyika. Mm. Ndio nika pale akili zikanijia afuta nimelia <laughs> hey, ndo saa akili zikanijia nikafanya video na nguo yangu ikafika the next day sasa. The power of social media. The power of social media. Cuz I saw media. you at some point we won't go into that kuna siku mm. nyingine pia kulikuwa na supermarket flani yeah, kulikuwa na issue true, true. ukatumia ngu, eh. social media social yako. Social media ya. Yeah. Ungependaje kumwambia mwananchi kuhusiana na matumizi ya social media kwa sababu wewe unatumiaga and it actually works for you. If you have a voice use it. Mm. If you have a voice use it kama uko hapo nje unabanika na kitu fulani yani unasikia hiki kitu fulani mm. hakiku kuendea wewe sawa mm. use the platform social media post it not once not twice not thrice mm. hii mara kwanza inaweza kuwa mtu hajaiona mm. mara pili i'm sure someone ataiona okay. ama hata mara nne i'm quite sure someone will see it Moja, tell those ones ambao hawakufollow wa kufollow wapi wale ambao ambao mnifollow naitwa mami france kila mahali okay mami france youtube mami france tiktok uh, instagram na facebook mami ni ile ya M U M I E hiyo ndo mami ambayo utanipata nayo alafu pia sasa hii nimeingia Twitter ni niko na follow wangu nne umesaka nani alikuita mami cuz your name is niseme yeah Ma, uh, mami anaitwa Francisca Francisca Mamu Mbai those are my oh, real names yeah Mamu yeah unapenda rumba nije mpigie rumba ya mwisho jamani <laughs> una vera sio za hiyo mamu Chaza hiyo mamu. <laughs> Nikuuliza nani alikufurisha mambo ya rumba? Ah, uh, okay, growing up I loved <laughs> music. <laughs> <laughs> rumba mi radio maisha amenifurisha rumba. Leo mtu akiniuliza umefurishwa ani rumba? Radio maisha. <laughs>
<laughs> Mimi kwasi juu hizo vitu. Mm-hmm. Growing up my dad alikuwa anapenda rumba sana paka tulikuwa na zile so. Santuri uh. and the music used to make me happy because my childhood was not that good. Ah. Unaelewa? So ile kusikiza kilingala and cramming songs paka sasa hii naweza imba lyrics after lyrics is just a talent I picked up while Kilingala pia unakijua. Eh, wewe unaona kama unakielewa. Kiasi sana. Tuambie radio unapenda radio maisha. Ninapenda radio maisha. Kilengala na. Eh, mama Bakongo bako. Mama mokonzi. Makambo zali. Bakongo bako. Mama. Eh.